In this tutorial, we will show how to create events. Let's start out by showing actually what you'll end up with so that you'll have an idea of what it is we are creating. And then we'll show how to actually create an event from the start. I just clicked on the events tab at the top. This will show all of your events with recurring events highlighted in red. Let's take a look at these icons on the right. This one launches practice for that event, so if you built playlists, you can practice those playlists. This one launches the planner, so you can go in and uh, plan the event. And this one allows you to apply a template if, uh, in fact, you've saved some templates. Now let's drill down into an event. Clicking the silver button pulls up the detail. This shows any locations that you have for that event, and in fact can have multiple locations. And every location can have a playlist. You can edit the uh, start date and start time by clicking the little edit pencil, modifying the information, and then clicking the check mark. You can also create a, a template from the event based on what you have in the event. Just click on the Create Template icon. Then you can save that template and apply it to future events. You can click on the Edit Reoccurrence icon, which allows you to turn this into a recurring event. And uh, we'll get more into that when we create a new event. So let's go ahead and create an event. So we start by typing in a title for the event. Select a start date. And you can do either a recurring event or a non-recurring event. Either way, you start out the same. So for a recurring event, uh, you give it a title, and then you give it the first date when you want the recurring event to start. So if we're doing a recurring event on a Friday night, just pick the first Friday night when it starts. Edit the start time. It defaults to an hour, but we can change the duration later. Click the Add New Event button, the little plus sign. This adds the event to your event list and brings up all the detail. Edit the duration as well as any locations and can create a template. Click the check mark to save it. And now let's edit a reoccurrence. Click the Edit Reoccurrence button, the little plus sign, and you can see your options there. Let's choose Reoccurs Weekly. And now we have a choice of what day we would like it to reoccur on and when we would like it to end. Never, after a certain number of occurrences, or until a certain date. Let's choose on Fridays, after 10 occurrences. And there's the information. Every Friday from 7 to 8.30 for 10 weeks. Click the check mark. And this event is now part of your event list. It's been added as a recurring event. If you go back to the home screen, you'll see the event on your calendar. So there it is. It's been slotted in on Fridays. And so we've just shown how to create an event, uh, how to set it as a reoccurring event, where it shows up on the calendar, and indicated that you can create a template from each event.